Good afternoon. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. This is the 20th of September. This is Bella's Kids. I did a video for you earlier this week and I've tried for three days to get this to upload to YouTube and it would not. I don't know why. So I'm going to do a short, about an eight minute video and hope that will go on. Everybody else's went on but yours, so I apologize. Uh, you're going to see out here that a lot of them have a haircut. We still have two that do not. Um, actually, three. I'm trying to think. There's three that do not. Um, there is the Blue Merle with the neon yellow collar. He, uh, that puppy does not. We have the Merle with the white collar that's still fuzzy. What are you doing? He says, oh, I'm going to scratch. So those two do not, and I have one little black girl with purple collar that does not. So, and I think, uh, I'm pretty sure Sherry wants a haircut, I just forgot to do it. So the orange collared puppy did get a haircut. Uh, he's a beautiful chocolate merle with lots and lots of color underneath that hidden hair. So if the last three of you, and I know Sherry, I'll give yours a cut so you don't have to call me. Um, if you'd like to go ahead and have a haircut on the last two Merles, give me a call or shoot me a text, and I'll be glad to give them a haircut if, if you'd like that done. We started this video a second ago, and we had to quit because we had a foot-long garter snake decide to go right through the middle of the puppy pen. So we had to stop and catch it and put it back over in the weeds towards the flower beds. Um, so these guys are doing phenomenally well. They've had their first puppy shot. And that will show uh, recognition of that on your health card. Oh, they're going to move too fast for me to keep track of. I apologize for the wind. Um, it is really windy out here. So I'm just going to tell you, sorry about the wind right off the bat. But hopefully it won't be too annoying and we'll be able to get through it without uh, it bothering too much of everything. These guys are doing super good. Katie took a wait for them uh, a few minutes ago before we put them out here. So I have some current weights for you. Uh, the pink collar puppy, which is right here below me, it's the Merle female. Oops, sorry, is three pounds, six ounces. And she's getting ready to pounce on somebody. There she goes. She's busy. She has a phenomenal coat. She's just a beautiful, beautiful puppy. Uh, the other one we have out here is the lime green collar. Uh, that actually is the one I was going to keep. I don't think I'm going to keep it at this point. He's not getting as huge as I wanted him to get. Uh, he weighs 5 pounds, 7 ounces as of today. So you'll probably see him back on the for sale page. Um, I have a standard schnauzer that's bred with a miniature, and I think we're going to keep something from that litter because the size will be much bigger. And that's what I was striving for was bigger. Uh, the blue collar male is the biggest in the litter right now. So he is 5 pounds and 8 ounces. So he's a good size boy too. Both boys are nice sizes. It's not that. It's just I'm really looking for something a whole lot bigger than uh, Diesel or Kevin are. So I've got some several bigger poodles that I'm looking for a bigger schnauzer for. So that's the reason I'm not going to keep the green collared puppy. The orange collar puppy, which is the chocolate Merle, which is over here in a tussle with the female. He's got the green toy, so he won. Um, he is four pounds. The purple collar puppy, which is uh, Sherry Gokenauer's puppy, is 3.5 pounds. So I think she wins the award for the smallest. And the white collared puppy, which is still the fuzzy guy. He's chasing the puppy with the toy. He is a whopping 4.1 pounds as of today. So they're really doing great. It's a pretty afternoon. I'm probably going to leave them out here and give them some food and water for the day and let them play. They are really uh, ready to leave Bella. Bella's starting to run from them. They're eating dry dog food. They are probably going to start coming in the house with me this week. It's been a really fun group. We were kind of hoping to get the pregnant moms out of my house. Uh, Katie had her nine puppies, which you've probably seen on the website. But um, I need to get her moved to the kennel. 
but she's helping me to raise a puppy from uh, Dixie's litter, so um, we kind of have to keep her in and keep an eye on her. So we're we're short on space right now. So the biggest thing when you get these guys home is you need to set down rules, boundaries, and limitations. Uh, weekly, they have gotten their toenails trimmed. They get a bath every week. They are taught no bark, no bite, and no lick for the period of time they stay in the house with us. And that's something you should practice and follow at home. Their teeth should never touch your hand. Even if you think it's cute, they're doing it for a purpose, and that's to find out if they can be your boss. Uh, if they can be the alpha, they're allowed to chew on you. If they're not allowed to chew on you, they're not the alpha. So kind of keep those things in mind, especially if you've got small children. Uh, they're not being affectionate and they're not being nibbly. They're being, they're basically, they're tracking out their territory. So um, we're not easy on them. I, I mean, I don't tolerate it at all, and I don't like licking, and... Uh, a lot of it is because we have allergy patients that come in that are allergic to saliva. So we really try and work on the licking part. Um, also because I know how much feces and urine they eat, and I don't want them licking me in the face after they've done that little deed. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that uh, I hope you got. Everyone should have your emails and your videos by now that have the videos are on one email. And your vitamin information was on another email. So if you did not receive those this week, please let me know. Um, because I would like you to view those before you come to pick up. That way it will explain so much to you that I would go over with you when you're here. And the nice thing is it will let you um, basically bring the questions to me that I didn't answer for you. Which is really nice because that way you don't go home and go, now what did she say? Uh, you've got a record of it at home. You can look back whenever you want to, and that way you get questions answered that you may have forgotten to ask me when you come. So, um, please watch those before you come. I would greatly appreciate it. Oops, they're going rolling everywhere today. They are full of it. Um, the other thing is, energy level with puppies is super high. If you do not let them wear themselves out outdoors, they're going to be your worst nightmare. They're going to want to tear your furniture up, your curtains, whatever they can have a great time with, they're going to do. So if you do not have a fenced-in backyard, I'm going to back up and show you. I actually have, um, this is actually two kennels, two puppy pens put together. Um, I think I might be short on one of them, but I think it's almost two. They can't get out of this. Uh, these are, they're called X-Pens. I can put these guys out here for the day under a shade tree and I can go to town if I want to go shopping and they're still in there when I get back. The only thing is, as these dogs grow and get bigger, don't buy one that fits them at this size. This is a 24 inch. I would go minimum of 30 inch um, to start off with, which, sound, which sounds like a lot, or even a 36 inch probably would be better. And that way it will fit them as an adult. They're great for camping. So if you go camping and you don't have, you know, you don't want to tether the dog to the trailer or anchor it to the car bumper or whatever, you can put a puppy pin up and uh, give them a place to play. These two are going to have a disagreement, and now I guess they're going to quit. So I'm going to shut this off and hopefully get this on. I'm really sorry we didn't get the first one on. Uh, we actually um, did weights and stuff for you as we took the video before, so... I just wanted to make sure you got this this weekend, and um, I hope you had a great weekend, and uh, you'll have a safe week. If you have any questions, call me. If you have not booked in a puppy pickup, please call me to do so, and uh, we'll talk to many of you soon, and we'll see many of you soon, so have a great week.